The trial of Kyler Yust enters its second day of testimony, 14 years after the disappearance of Kara Kapetsky and five years after Jessica Runyon's went missing. Yust is charged with her murders, and this morning, Yust defense attorneys tried to show the jury how Belton police mishandled the investigation. But here's an exchange between Yust's main defense attorney and a Belton detective in the case. It would be very easy to go talk to someone at the gas station, wouldn't it? Absolutely. None of that was ever done. Did you know that? No. So you're saying, hey, I wasn't the lead detective on this case. And let's just get this straight. It's hard to figure out who was, isn't it? At various times, yes, it was. Well, testimony is scheduled to continue through the day. The trial could last up to three weeks. Meanwhile, a friend of Kapetsky and Yust had testified Tuesday about their relationship trouble. He was saying stuff that he's wanting to hurt her, and, and I, I think she was having trouble communicating it to me and didn't, didn't really know what to do. And I, I suggested to her that she, um, she needs to get help. We well, used defense pointed out that there were differences in Jackson's deposition and what he testified yesterday. The state called 15 witnesses to the stand. Others include Car Kapetsky's mother, a former Belton police officer, and the woman who reported Car missing, as well as a couple of used friends. And you can count on us for coverage of this murder trial. KBC 9 is going to be your eyes in the courtroom and give you a recap of the day's proceedings.